Hey guys, so we are going to go on a road trip from the Bay Area to Yosemite. Uh, we're going to get a huge elevation gain and we're going to take the Taycan. Um, the official EPA per pour shot with the standard battery, which is exactly the spec that we have here, is uh, 200 miles. But actually, uh, I believe Porsche on the promises and over delivers when it comes to the range. So this whole, this whole, the whole prom, uh, purpose and premise of the video is to to show you guys that you actually can do road trips in this beautiful car. And of course, uh, vehicle is gonna be loaded with four people and a lot of stuff in the front. We already have our beers, of course, and we're gonna have suitcases here. Uh, we're still missing another big suitcase, so it should be fun. We are charging it to 100, and that is the predicted range. Uh, the official EPA range is actually 200 miles, so we're already getting 29 extra miles. And this is based on the way I drive, which is very, very hard. So, we're gonna do our planning. Porsche does plan. Oops. Porsche does plan um, charging and all that. There's a lot of people that don't know about this but they do that is our elevation currently there's a battery temperature in 285 feet so this is very important because we're actually gonna get probably 3,000 feet I don't remember we'll find out obviously so we just tap this for destination it calculates and there you go so it's asking us to stop at this electrified America in 129 miles and charge just for three minutes and it says that whenever we get to that station we're gonna have 10 percent battery so i'm very curious to see if that actually happens because of the elevation gain i'm really curious to see how how accurate the system is and if it actually calculates elevation based on all my research on forums reddit and twitter apparently the pcm does calculate elevation so i'm very curious to see if that percent is actually accurate Based on my experience, every time we use the charging planner, we actually get more. Like, let's say if Porsche says that we're going to arrive with 10% battery, we actually arrive with 14 or 15. So let's see how it goes. So yeah, that's going to be our charging stop. Oh, actually, no. So I am very good. No, so I got this incorrect. It says that we're going to arrive to Groveland at 30% battery. So we can totally we could totally skip this battery uh, with, with this charging stuff but because i already put the settings that i always want to have at least 10 percent of this uh, that's why the system is recommending us to stop in charge for three minutes to get from 31 percent to 43 percent so yeah disregard that um we actually we should get to groveland to that electrify america station with 31 percent uh but it's pretty cool like we've done longer trips and actually like it tells you how many stations and how many stops and all of that. Um, uh, and that's it. We should start our trip shortly. Look at that battery, nice and toasty, 49% state of charge. And this guy is very efficient because now it shows 40%. We started with 31%. That's crazy. We should be there shortly. I would think like 20 minutes or so. So 
we made it to the middle of nowhere. We're gonna charge this guy right here. Let's go. All right, so we have 42%. That's the 94% of the temperature elevation. 3100 and we made it to electrify america we're gonna charge to 350 we literally don't need to charge but we're going to because it's free and because we're hungry oh there's more stations there I just noticed that so this car actually has the plug and charge so you just get it ready This is when you struggle with one hand. Can you help me? <laughs> I can't. All right, so it's plugged in. Communicating with the vehicle and it should start charging in like 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> That was it we made it to yosemite no issues at all just one charging stop we only were required to charge for a minute to make it to our destination but we still charged 100 percent because we were enjoying our meal and it was awesome the coolest thing about this airbnb look at this look at this We stayed in Yosemite for four days, and along exploring multiple hiking spots with its glorious beauty, we also decided to maximize our nerdy side and find those famous Rivian Level 2 charging stations that the new automaker installed as part of their charging network in national parks. Good morning from sunny California. Yosemite has been glorious. But now it's time to go back home. Uh, our drive back home is 177 miles, which is right now for hours because, well, the roads are, are fun. They're very curvy. <laughs> All right, 100%, 235 miles. That's incredible. I keep saying that. The range, official range is 200 and look at that. And we were driving uphill in sport mode, elevation of 5,685 feet. All right, so you saw you saw that. Uh, sometimes this car, this car shows everything in German. It's uh, it's funny, and then it, it goes away. It's, it just lasts for like two seconds. And this is the route planning. So 179 miles. It's literally telling us that we do not need to stop to charge and that we should arrive with 42% state of charge. That is incredible. Of course, we're going downhill. We're going from 5,000 plus to like 20 feet of elevation. So it totally makes sense. And after this trip, I no longer have range anxiety. It's been really nice and easy. It, it exceeds that famous EPA. So this is awesome. We'll keep doing more road trips. I hope you guys enjoy this because I love watching videos of people doing road trips in electric vehicles because it shows you how this infrastructure is and how 
reliable actually our network is so this is this is incredible and i hope to you, you guys enjoy this whoever knows me knows that this is triggering me <laughs> it's so dusty and gross but it's okay it's part of the experience like all of those little bugs that we killed Ooh, fun all righty we found him look at the background Plug in to charge, free, 6.7 kilowatts. So we plug in to charge. And now it's charging. Thank you, Rivian. So this is how we celebrate this milestone. 10,000 miles. That is insane. This is awesome.